Hi there, I'm Andrew, welcome to Urban Rider. Today we are joined by Charlie Stockwell from Stockwell Designs, who is showcasing his new limited edition Bell Eliminator colorway for spring, summer 2021. Charlie, thank you very much for coming in and joining us. Thank um, you. First of all, to talk a bit about sort of how that all came about, you know, what you do and what you do with Bell um, to sort of bring this to us. I've been a huge fan of Bell uh, for many, many years. Uh, like you know, I've been you know, in the motorcycle industry with a Harley dealership for 25 years now. And with my role in, in the industry being a creator, a designer, a, a custom builder, I suppose you could say, uh, it, it kind of made sense, well, you know, if I'm gonna work with Bell in some level, let's do it in a creative side rather than just an ambassadorship where I, mm. I, I wear the brand. I think you were saying this is actually, uh, despite sort of landing today, this has been in the pipeline for the best part of three years. Three project. years, yeah. It may look like quite a simple, you know, <laughs> colorway, but it was it was a tough process, you know, up. coming up with something, you know, like this that had to be unique, had to be personal, and you know, you know, I don't design motorcycles as such. I redesign motorcycles, so this was trying to come up with something that wasn't like anything else. Uh, you know, I, I had a, a blank canvas and it had to show my personality on it. So yeah, three years may sound like a long time, but <laughs> it took most of that three years to come up with something that represented me and, you know, something that hopefully everyone else would like. Well, tell us a bit about kind of what the design inspo was other than, you know, sort of the flame, obviously, yep. you, know, you referenced um, when we were speaking before, being something that's kind of a signature piece through the things you have done. Yeah, and, uh, you know, like I said, it. it it can look, be, you know, be seen as like a, a very simple design, but um, boy, it was hard to come up with something that represented me that, I, I think we touched on this earlier on as well, where I said that every bike I've ever built for somebody only really had to be accepted by that customer. Mm. So for me to come up with a design that had to be accepted by the masses, you know, not just in, in London or England, but worldwide, you know, that was quite a challenge for me and quite daunting. So uh, I was briefed, we were gonna use the Eliminator, it, just been launched to, to the market and you know very different to the helmets that Bell had had out before with the Moto 3 and the Bullet this was something it was a little bit naughty you know it was if you like that that road hooligan mm. um, based on a design that they've taken from their car racing world and I you know I love the design I got a, a few of the first ones straight away and to me it made perfect sense well let's go with something a little bit new a little bit that you know suits my style and, um, but they wanted something that was, you know, very much my signature, which when the question was put to me, I didn't really think I had until I realized that, you know, with my newfound love of flat track racing, you know, on the Harley, the bike I was racing with the simple white flame on the black tank, you know, had become quite well known. So that's in kind the, of how that In the that Hooligan rolled. series. In the, the Hooligan uh, the series. Hooligan -looking yeah. So uh, yeah. with the Hooligan looking helmet and it was like, well, that's kind of my stamp now. For the first mm. time, I own something that is not just a commuter bike. It was, you know, it was my race bike and it was something very, very different to what I'd been known for before. So it caused a little bit of a stir, you know, and, and caught some attention. And I think it dawned on me that the white flame on the black with a little bit of the gold on there you know, that is the signature design. So, mm. you know, and everything I was doing was kind of based around that. So it, it made perfect sense. And so I think you, you said that you've been through a few sort of variations of this final quite, quite product, a lot. haven't you? Yeah, I mean, there's only so, so much you can do with flames. Yeah. But, and there's been so many flame designs before, you know, is it going to be a full coverage? You know, is that cliche with me being a, recognized as a Harley Davidson custom designer builder? Mm. Uh, is flames in, you know, like I said, this has got to sell. You know, I don't want to design a helmet that no one wants to buy. So, like I said, I felt immense pressure, uh, which is weird for me after, you know, designing these bikes that, you know, have been seen around the world for 20 plus years. To design a helmet should be easy, right? Yeah. But it probably the toughest job I had. And um, so, yeah, many variations, you know, different colorways in terms of, you know, how much white do we use? How much black? Is it black on black? You know, the matte black vibe of the gloss black flame. How much gold do we use? Is that a little bit tacky? So um, I had sleepless nights coming up with, with this design, but... Um, well, I think the, the, final, the final product is a really great blend. I love the sort of little 
sort of bling accents to the gold, yep. great. Um, just to sort of say, uh, I think I'm right in saying this helmet comes as a standard with clear comes visor. Comes with a clear visor. So the yep. tinted one we have here is an accessory, but does look really, really good. Um, the helmets are due, or well, when the video is released, they'll be due, but I think we're sort of talking end of this month of March 21, so yep. pretty yeah. imminently. Price, uh, £349. I think it's definitely one that we can see doing well. Yeah, I we well, I mean, may, you, may have had. <laughs> you remember where, you know, like you guys, you know, the, the whole Urban Rider team, as well as the guys at uh, Image Design Custom who paint all of my custom bikes, were instrumental in, in sort of helping me along, you know, this design journey. You know, you guys being experts and you know what sells. And we would discuss, you know, what, what kind of well, colourways. What doesn't. <laughs> well, well, yeah, exactly, or what doesn't sell. So... And, uh, you know, so I, I, you know, credit to you guys and credit to the guys at Image Design Custom for, for helping me come up with this, you know. So I'm not very good on computers when it comes to designing. I'm a designer by, by trade, but it's pencil and paper. So I would come up with a sketch, you know, take it down to the guys at Image Design and Custom and we would have that discussion on what we think was cool. And we did come up with probably a dozen designs, you know, leading up to this one. And uh, their team would lay it on the computer for me. They painted the, you know, the prototype helmet that we sent back to Bill once we decided it. But you know, the guys at Urban Rider, I, I really wanted their feedback. You know, what doesn't sell? What do we think would sell? And um, even with the dozen designs we have, everybody, and I'm not just saying this to camera because, and you know, because we've got this on the table, this was the helmet that everybody said. You know, there wasn't mm. anyone else that said, actually, we think that one. Mm. Everyone decided on this one. Which was good because it was my only signature design. You know, the race bike was painted like this, so it, you know, it, it made sense to me. Well, you know, what we kind of this is the design, and um, it's it's come out, you know, better than I, I thought it was actually. So. Well, yeah, we, we think so too. Uh, well done. And um, no, thank you so much because it's really interesting to hear from our point of view and hopefully from yours, like what goes into creating these colorways. It's not, it's not just a two minute job on a computer. As, as we said, three years yeah. uh, in the making and hopefully it brings to life uh, this new helmet, as I say, in stock fairly shortly. Um, Charlie, thank you so much for coming. Hey, you're welcome. And I'm sure thank we'll you. be seeing you again uh, next so. time. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Um, for more video reviews of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned to the Urban Rider channel and follow us on Instagram as well for some fantastic competitions giveaway and lots of sexy pictures too. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Goodbye. But, <clears throat> do I look good? Do my hair look good? My hair never looks good at the moment. It hasn't been cut for like 18 months. I mean, you look like a badass biker. Do I? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Very important. Okay, so are you ready? Yep, ready. Where am I meant to be looking? It'll work with me based on, you know, my, my, you know, I guess my thing in the in the. Should we do that again? Fuck that right. Yeah.